Sandy here at Abundant Acres Homestead, and today is the day I've been looking forward to. Long awaited, much overdue. Let's start to plant some stuff. Okay, so it is the start of the 2022 gardening season, and figured we'd go ahead and start by just doing like a garden tour. There's not a lot to see. Come summer and come fall. Hopefully everything will be going really good, but it'll kind of give you guys and me a little look back on how we, and where we started. Back here, the trees are just starting to bud. Got this garlic bed we got planted. Um, it's not doing real great, but we did get a few. You can tell right here, some of it got dug up. I'm not sure what got into it, but we still have a few garlics. This is one of the hygge culture beds that we got. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last year me planting some of this garlic basically just for a pest deterrent. And looky here, got a mullion that come up. Didn't even plant it, but it's decided it wants to grow there. So I'm gonna let it grow. My original intentions were I was gonna build two more raised beds for right here in front of these, but um, plants have changed, so that's not happening. Um, nothing in the raised beds yet. Oh, our horseradish is doing really well. There's one. This one is the one that we harvested from last year, but there's still some coming up, so that's good. And here is the other bucket. We didn't harvest from this one last year, so obviously you can see it's doing a whole lot better. We'll probably harvest from this one this year and leave the other one go. And I was happy to see that some of the flowers that we planted last year are coming back up. Not all of them, but a few. So we have this one here. This one's coming up. This one here coming up. They're starting. And we took some cuttings from our fruit trees and they are doing really well too. This one here is the Fiji apple. We got this one, this one, and this one, and this one very green um this these here are peach trees this one here is doing wonderfully and then got a couple of them getting green spots and then this one here is the fiji apple that one that one that one that one that one that one and that one so our fruit tree cuttings are doing really well but that's not what this video is about this video is about finally getting some seed in the dirt so what I'm getting started with first is pretty much the same thing I always get started with. And that is my peas. I'm doing sugar peas. Um, these ones here are called Dwarf White Blossom. They're actually an heirloom pea, so so long as I save some of the seeds, I'll be able to grow this over and over again. Um, and then this one here, I've not tried these, but I'm gonna try them this year. Um, they are called Alaska peas. I'm actually a little late getting my peas in the ground. I'm a little late getting everything in the ground. Um, our weather here has just been like rain, rain, and more rain. So, um, yeah, it's been a really, really wet and stormy spring for us here in Indiana. So normally I start planting um, peas and pretty much any of my root crop vegetables, you know, like um, beets, radishes, carrots, stuff like that. Um, I will normally start planting those um, as soon as the first signs of spring start hitting. So what are some of the spring signs that I go by? The willow tree is pretty much full of water. So if the willow tree is budding, then that tells me that we might still have freezes, but we're not going to have like that really, really hard, hard freeze. So if the willow tree starts budding, then let's get to it. Some of the other things that I start watching for in spring um, is start watching the animals. Um, so like skunks. Skunks aren't going to come out of their den. I mean they'll start kind of creeping out a little bit but um, once you start seeing them creeping out then that means for the most part the worst of winter is over. Um, same thing for the buzzards. Um, once the buzzards start coming back around then I know we're pretty safe that it's going to start warming up. Um, but my favorite 
that we've always watched out for and it used to be a thing between me and my brother who was uh, the uh, robins so robin to us was always the first sign of spring as soon as you saw a robin then you knew spring was on its way well my brother's a butthole now and he spends his winters down in florida so now i always get to win because i always get to see the first robin here in indiana last year i planted our cucumbers and i let the cucumbers trellis up these windmills thought it was a great idea it worked out really good except for when it comes time to harvest because a lot of them grew up here in the middle and it was a pain this year instead we're gonna do carrots underneath I'm going to start the nanties over here on the right side. And one of my favorite ways of planting carrots is I just like to use a straight edge. Um, this is just a, a aluminum ruler and I will just take it, push it down, and give it a little wiggle. It gives me a straight edge to go off of. And what I'll do is I'll just sprinkle the seeds down through the little valley that it makes. Last year we had carrots in this bed, so it got a little roughed up. Last year we also had, it went from like cold to hot, like overnight. So radishes, if you grow them in the hot weather, they end up a lot hotter. We didn't get them harvested in time. And if you let radishes go too long, again, they get hot. Last year, I think we grew more cherry bell and Oh, what were they? White sparkler? I think that's what they called. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you're right. Oh. oh. This side here, I'm just going to do two rows of turnips. Purple top, white globe. Um, we actually got these from the Dollar Tree. I don't know why they called the Dollar Tree because it's a dollar twenty-five now. But these were four for a dollar. Okay, these you want to plant about half inch, half and inch then apart. about half inch deep and then about an inch apart. Oh, I think I just dropped some of those there. We might have some random turnips. <laughs> oh, I got some. We're going to do Detroit dark beet over on this side. Did you have a lot of beets growing up? Oh. No, not really. I don't remember them planting beets as a kid. Really? Yeah. What did your parents do them? Oh, my dad loved beets. Really? Yeah, my mom would make jars and jars of the pickled beets. Did you eat beets? Uh, occasionally, but mainly no, because my dad always ate them, so. So it's kind of like a dad gets them kind of thing. No, I don't really remember beets. So you may actually really like beets and Maybe. just don't know it. Uh, what's the, uh, how long does it take to grow beets? Uh, about two months. Oh, that's not too bad. So you get double crop, maybe a triple crop if they were in that. That's something I do like. Yeah. Um, that's beets, not too bad. Beets kind of like the cooler weather though, so, um, if I did do a double crop, it would be, I would probably wait for summer to be over. And then plant them again in the fall. Oh, I see. Cool crop. Oh, you almost had planted a bunch. The last thing I plant, I'm planting today is potatoes. Um, these are just potatoes that have sprouted. Grocery store potatoes. Nothing special about them. I planted potatoes last year in this container, in this dirt. Um, if you want, you can go check that video out. I did get a harvest of potatoes, but not a huge harvest. So I'm gonna try to feed it a little bit better. And so I'm gonna start it putting in some bone meal and some blood meal. The uh, bone meal is actually an organic source for uh, the phosphorus and then this is blood meal 
and it's an organic source for nitrogen. So, I'm gonna put a fairly decent amount in. Um, I'd say it's about two handfuls of each. I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm gonna get this all mixed up. Whew. Last year, I did not heal them up at all. I just let them grow. Um, yeah. This year, I think I'm going to try. Um, I have brought some, I've got five gallon buckets of more soil. So I will probably amend that as I go. And as they grow up, I'm gonna try healing them this time and see if I can get a bigger and better harvest this around. So. Okay, got it all mixed up. And let me bring you over here and I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm not doing anything special, just regular potato. Just gonna kinda smoosh it in there a little bit. This one is already kinda going. Do the same, just smoosh it in there a little bit. And cover them up. These are actually in the bag too, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick those in too. Don't know if anything will happen, but I guess we'll find out. Well, I didn't get everything planted up today, but I did get some stuff. So the garden has officially started and that makes me happy. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Be safe and God bless.